yes sir okay so you are applying for special assistant engineer right yes sir yes sir and okay and you are to give the snap for power system yes sir okay okay why we study power system sir actually uh, the main reason why we study power system is for the designing of the protection of the power system in order to judge the load flow analysis in order to do the load flow analysis for the system future planning we do power we study power system for uh, uh, knowing the uh, economic load dispatch also so that we can dispatch the load uh, with the minimum cost so these are certain certain factors by which we study uh, power systems okay what is economical load dispatch Uh, sir economical load dispatch means uh, uh, in order to uh, dispatch the uh, uh, unit uh, amount of power in order to generate the unit amount of power uh, uh, one unit of power we we want to minimize the uh, cost cost inculcated in that uh, generation of power i mean uh, that we we want to minimize the cost uh, of generation of the power so we do that economic load dispatch study mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> in the in economical load dispatch yes sir what are the thing we take into the account uh, sir first of all we take uh, uh, if we take the losses then we have to use the penalty factor uh, in mind and uh, if we don't uh, consider the losses which is not uh, actually the practical case we generally use uh, uh, we do not take that penalty factor into account or uh, and uh, uh, after that we just uh, uh, equalize the incremental cost of uh, generators and uh, uh, and then uh, decide from which one uh, generator we we will be going to supply more power okay how we can cal calculate it uh, sir actually uh, to calculate it uh, we have to differentiate the uh, uh, function with respect to uh, uh, like uh, we we will be having some functions for the two generators uh, like f1 and f2 then we have to differentiate it with the uh, that uh, df by dpg1 uh, means uh, we have to differentiate it with uh, power for the first generator and uh, differentiate uh, with respect to power for the second generator then equalize it uh, i think something like this actually i don't know the exact sir okay <clears throat> uh, okay in the economical load uh, we have to calculate the uh, total fuel cost uh, a total fuel cost yes sir yes sir mm. so what is this total fuel fuel cost and what are the yeah yeah tell me something uh, sir actually total fuel cost uh, i don't know exact but uh, if i try and guess it by mm -hmm. the name itself then uh, total fuel cost means the cost uh, uh, means the cost uh, cost of fuel used for the generation of 1 uh, kilowatt uh, of power i think okay where this term economic uh, incremental uh, has been Uh, in the in the economical load uh, calculation we yes, are calculating the incremental operation yes sir yes sir mm. so actually what the incremental cost is, is the, uh, unit what is the unit of in, uh, incremental uh, operation sir? sir i think uh, megawatt per mm -hmm. per okay. year uh, by mm. sir actually i don't remember that incremental cost unit mm -hmm. um, sir rupees per megawatt r i think yeah sir rupees per megawatt r okay okay good so what is the uh, so on which factor we are differentiating it uh on which factor we are differentiate sir actually we differentiate uh, the uh cost uh, cost function with respect to power mm -hmm. okay cost good. function with respect to power mm-hmm okay it is a uh, if we draw the graph uh okay of uh, of between the incremental operating cost with the with the mm -hmm. total power then what is yes, the nature sir. of the graph so the nature of graph may be uh maybe non uh, maybe linear type nature 
uh, the cost increases as, as we draw more power from the generator i think okay for the different plant uh, if we calculate it it is possible uh, for different plant means means if the power is coming from the different plant yes sir okay then this e- economical distribution uh, yes sir we can uh, we can have the economic uh, distribution between the generation from two pa- different power stations also uh, so uh, from different power plant if we generate power then we will operate that power plant for which the next unit uh, generation cost is minimum uh, j- just like uh, suppose uh, we generate uh, 50 50 megawatt from uh, one uh, plant one and plant two and if the generation of power of 51th megawatt uh, is compared the generation of that 51th megawatt power is compared with in the two plants and whichever plant will uh, offer us low power generation we will prefer that plant so so that one uh, a megawatt is called the incremental incremental cost the cost uh, used for generating that one extra amount of megawatt power okay mm, what are the meters we are generally using so meters means uh, electrical meters okay sir uh, meters uh, so energy meter uh, amp meter volt meter uh, power factor mm-hmm. meter and uh, uh, so first of all we generally use that uh, multimeter also okay, in our uh, day to day life mm-hmm. okay in the upcl uh, yes sir mainly with the distribution part yes uh, we have mainly uh, with the distribution and transmission yes, sir mm-hmm. it's a major transmission and distribution company tell me one thing yes, there sir. is a recent news that the and uh, this uttar pradesh uh, electricity department distributing company is having the huge loss yes sir depth. yes sir okay uh, so is there any method so that corrective method so that uh, Uh, which electric meter you have to install so that the theft should be minimized okay uh, sir actually uh, as far as i know that uh, as far as i know about the losses uh, that the discoms are making nowadays is mo- mostly that at and c losses that aggregate technical and commercial losses uh, uh, they are uh, having a, a very high approx uh, 30% i think uh, the power is lost in the atc losses and uh, the government mm-hmm. has also planned to minimize it to 15% till 2024 also so uh, first of all uh, my suggestions for uh, reducing the power is uh, like same what uh, uh, rest uh, is given rest uh, uh, government is also planning like uh, for uh, smart meters they ne- they are planning to uh, install the smart meters the second stringent laws must be made uh, uh, for the power th- for stopping the power theft the third is installation of the capacitor banks in the mid of the line so that the uh, technical losses is also minimized that uh, power lost uh, during the transmission okay. uh, in order to reduce we can use that okay. so uh, we can also use the uh, uh, prepaid meter prepaid smart meters also so that beforehand uh, the power is used by the consumer they had to pay the bills and if they are not willing to pay the bills the uh, electricity is automatically cut uh, cut down so that prepaid meters are a very good option i think okay what is prepaid meter uh, so actually uh, prepaid meter are just like uh, the uh, like our phone recharge i think uh, i don't know much but uh, i think like uh, it, it would be like this only like uh, if if we uh, won't recharge our phone uh, we won't be getting uh, the benefits of doing calls and uh, sending messages or emails or like that uh, like this uh, if uh, we have the prepaid meters in our uh, in in the homes uh, then uh, the that theft part can no, can be minimized or that uh, that uh, bill pending bills can be reduced so if the person is willing to have the power in their home they must uh, uh, recharge their uh, recharge with some amount and then only they will get power and uh, i think that uh, it will be an uh, it will be done on the online mode also so that in the night if uh, someone's recharge gets down so he can immediately recharge through online mode so i i think like this only <clears throat> 
okay mm, last question uh, yes sir okay mm, like you have talk about so much about the meters yes sir um, what are the schemes uh, and how this up government is being facilitating to improve the solar power so there are certain schemes of up government also and the central government uh, also sir uh, there are certain schemes like saubhagya scheme like uh, ipds if i'm not wrong and there is a ujala scheme also and uh, uh, ipds uh, sir uh, unnat jyoti affordable what? leds for all sir okay, uh, 10 rupees it? led is given to the consumer like uh, i if i'm not missing out then it is around 1.5 crore leds i think they are going to distribute to the rural areas for the mm-hmm. rural electrification uh, the 10 rupees led is going to be distributed uh, and maximum one person can take five leds i think there is something like this also that's all i know okay rohan yes sir look um... <clears throat> in this you uh, pcle and they will yeah. mostly cover the question regarding the policies and regarding the transmitting and distributing parameter okay <laughs> something about the transformer so today you were first interview na right? yes sir yes okay so later we will discuss on the uh, on the remaining part okay so please work on the area that you have covered uh, so speak and not to speak the topic that you are not aware with okay sir okay getting a point yes sir so if if you give the hint that in this topic uh, if you generate the new new term then the question will be arising from that okay so you know that you are prepared on that topic so they are eagerly uh, and want to ask what uh, up to what, uh, what depth you are you are prepared on that topic okay, okay.